Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Jaylen, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I achieved this really cute braided heart hairstyle or the heart part hairstyle but with flat twists. And the way this whole idea came about was one day I was scrolling on my explore page and I saw this hairstyle for the thousandth time and I just knew I had to do it. But I had two problems. One, I don't know how to braid. I don't know how to do any type of complex braid like a French braid or a Dutch braid. And two, I don't want to spend over $100 or even over $200 to get my hair professionally braided. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if this hairstyle will look just as cute with flat twists. And I tried it out today and y'all, you cannot tell me that this hairstyle isn't giving exactly what it's supposed to give. I love this certified lover girl look. So if you do too and you want to know exactly how I achieved this look, make sure to keep on watching. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video for me. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. So as you can see, I already did my right side and this is what it's looking like. It's just some flat twists going straight back and now I'm going to move on to my left side. Um, first I'm going to start by parting out the heart just so that I can get everything proportioned. So yeah, as you can see, I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. So it's pretty damp, it's not as wet as it was. So I'm just going to section out a very rough draft of like where I want the heart to be first. And I don't know if I want it to be big or small. I think I want it to be big so that the parts are very defined and you can see the shape. But first I'm going to start off with parting my hair in a C. And then I'm gonna do another C shape and bring it all the way down to the top of my ear. Alright, so I did a little diagonal part in the middle of half of the heart just so that it has that curve of the heart, if that makes sense. That's normally how other people have parted their hair to braid, so that's what I did. And now, I'm going to take some of this Murray's Edge Wax and I'm going to put that on my roots. Before I put the edge wax on my roots, I put the Cream of Nature Twisting Cream on my ends to protect and moisturize them, but you can use any cream or leave-in conditioner that you have at home. When it comes to this style, the parts are everything, so I'm trying to make sure that your parts are as neat as possible. I'm not the best at parting, so yeah, but it just takes patience to be honest. And we have one half of the heart. I'm really excited about how it looks. I've been putting this style off and this whole tutorial off for a minute. 
because I didn't know if I could pull it off, but do you see the vision? Cause I see the vision. And I'm just twisting it all the way to the end so it doesn't unravel because unlike braids, twists do unravel. So I wanna keep it tight. Now we're gonna move on to the second section. In the same way I moisturized the ends on the first section, I'm going to do with the second section. I'm going to moisturize all of my ends and like the mid shaft as high as possible without touching the roots just because I don't want this product mixing with the Murray's Edge Wax because I need that one to be very slick and I feel like once the Murray's Edge Wax touches anything with water or slip it doesn't make the wax really hold my hair like it should so that's why i only go up so far Alright, so now that the two twists are finished, this is what they're looking like. Now I'm going to figure out a way to twist it back because I don't know if I want twist hanging or not. I don't think so. So I think I'm going to figure out a way to form this into a flat twist just going straight back like the rest of my twists are going straight back. And then once I do, I'll come back and show you guys. This part is really hard to see, but I just unraveled the ends of the heart and twisted it in with the hair that I separated going towards the nape of my neck. Alright y'all, so the heart flat twist is complete. It's not the best, but it's not the worst, and I'm really proud of it. It looks pretty cute. You can definitely tell that it's a heart, so that was my whole goal. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and just do it straight back like I did this side. And yeah, I'll probably speed through that just because... It's nothing major, just flat twist going straight back. Y'all, I'm over here laughing because my facial expressions tell it all, and the girls that get it, get it. The girls with thick hair know the struggle. My fingers started hurting, my neck started hurting, 
and although the style is super easy it does take a lot of patience for the girls that have thick hair like I do So the style is complete y'all. As you can see, this is what the hair is looking like. I really like this. I think it's really, really cute. And February is next month, Valentine's Day. We all wanna be lover girls and lover boys on Valentine's Day. So yeah, I think this is so cute. I'm so glad I tried this. Oh, it's so cute. So. To finish the style, I would do my hair in a bun in the back. So I'm just gonna take a scrunchie and make it a little bun. So now that I've gotten all glammed up and I added some accessories, you can see the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and you're thinking of recreating this style, let me know how it goes in the comments or tag me. I would love to see your photos and if you want to see more of me from me and all that jazz, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like this video and do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I make new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you stick around on this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.